Hi and welcome to this edition of Out the Box. My name's Paul. Today we're going to be having a look at what is in this small box. This is the Ubiquiti Unify Protect Smart Floodlight. It's only just recently been released, um, but I wanted to just show you what you get in the box. So you're going to get the unit itself, which we'll talk about in a moment. You are then going to get a number of ways to mount this on a wall. Um, this is probably the first bracket you're going to get, um, an angled bracket, probably going to put it uh, the way that you're actually going to see it. So let me have a look. We've got a spirit level here, um, so you can level that up. You've got a couple of screw holes. Um, in the top here, you may just be able to see it. We've got a small screw um, hole that will allow you to firmly mount the device in place. The idea is this is obviously going to go against the wall. We're going to uh, clip our unit, just going to get that the right way up. We're going to clip our unit into place. And obviously that gives us our downward angle. You are then also going to get the same thing again, um, but in a flat plate. You're going to get your spirit level in it again, straight onto the wall, same design, clip the unit on, and then you will actually be able to screw that. You'll be able to see there, you can actually screw that um, into place to hold it. What else are you going to get? You are going to get an opaque cover for the light, which I'll show you how that fits in a moment. You're going to get a conformity guide, you are going to get a microscopic get started QR code guide there. All right, do remember this works with Unify Protect. So you do need to be running something like a UDM Pro. You need to be running either maybe the Cloud Key Generation 2 Plus um, or the UNVR to make the best use of this. Uh, in the bottom of the box, you are also going to get a number of fitments, number of wall plugs, um, various other screws, and in the middle, the tiny screw um, to actually fit the unit all together. So what does the unit look like? All right, so this is the unit close up. Let me give you a, a front view of that. Turn it to the side very slightly so you can see that. Okay, this cut plate here, this cover clear. So it comes already with the clear glass. If I push that up and off, all right, the front is now exposed. I can have the option now if I want to, to add um, the opaque shield on there just to be able to deaden some of the light that's coming from that. We have our sensor here at the bottom, um, our movement sensor, um, and there are a number of settings that you can do in um, the uh, system setup for how bright that light is going to be um, and the sensitivity for it. Then if I just hold that round for the back, you've got your reset switch here um, and you have your couple of locking plate connectors here as I said, if this panel comes up onto it, it then clips firmly into place and locks solid. So that is really what's there. This is PoE powered. It's not obviously going to do it. It's not got a camera in it or anything like that. It is purely PoE powered. And I'm hoping if I just hold that up to the camera, uh, just inside there, you can actually uh, see um, the Ethernet port as well. So hopefully that's been useful to be able to see what this is. Do head on over to our YouTube channel. We've got plenty more box openings on um, firewalls, networking, um, and wireless devices, how-to guides. We've got a how-to guide there on what do I need to run Unify Protect, um, a great way to be able to learn about all the components needed to run Unify Protect. Um, so do subscribe and stay up to date, but hopefully that's been useful. Um, that's the new Ubiquiti uh, Smart Floodlight.